Happy Friday, everyone. Thank you for joining us as we celebrate the life and legacy and ministry of Thomas Aquinas, friar and theologian who died in 1274. A lot of our uh, theory and reasoning and uh, work of the church is based on his work. A reading from Isaiah. I will give you as a light to the nations that my salvation may reach to the end of the earth. Brothers and sisters, let us gather together and collect our thoughts as we prepare to confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us continue this morning with the Jubilate. The mercy of the Lord is everlasting. Come, let us adore him. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your mercy and love, for we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope, and we shall never hope in vain. The mercy of the Lord is everlasting. Come, let us adore him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The mercy of the Lord is everlasting. Come, let us adore him. Our first appointed psalm, <coughs> excuse me, is Psalm 40, Expectans Expectavi, together. I waited patiently upon the Lord. He stooped to me and he heard my cry. He lifted me out of the desolate pit, out of the mire and clay. He set my feet upon a high cliff and made my footing sure. He put a new song in my mouth, a song of praise to our God. Many shall see and stand in awe and put their trust in the Lord. Happy are they who trust in the Lord. They do not result and resort to evil spirits or turn to false gods. Great things are they that you have done, O Lord my God. How great your wonders and your plans for us, that there is none who can be compared with you. All that I could make them known and tell them, but they are more than I can count. In sacrifice and offering, you take no pleasure. You have given me ears to hear you. Burnt offering and sin offering, you have not required. And so I said, behold, I come. In the roll of the book, it is written concerning me. I love to do your will, O my God. Your law is deep in my heart. I proclaim righteousness in the great congregation. Behold, I did not restrain my lips, and that, O Lord, you know. Your righteousness have I not hidden in my heart. I have spoken of your faithfulness and your deliverance. I have not concealed your love and faithfulness from the great congregation. You are the Lord. Do not withhold your compassion from me. Let your love and your faithfulness keep me safe forever. For innumerable troubles have crowded upon me. My sins have overtaken me and I cannot see. There are more in number than the hairs of my head and my heart fails me. Be pleased, O Lord, to deliver me. O Lord, make haste to help me. Let them be ashamed and altogether dismayed who seek after my life to destroy it. Let them draw back and be disgraced who take pleasure in my misfortune. Let those who say, aha, and gloat over me be confounded because they are ashamed. Let all who seek you rejoice in you and be glad. Let those who love your salvation continually say, great is the Lord. Though I am poor and afflicted, the Lord will have regard for me. You are my helper and my deliverer. Do not tarry, O oh my God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. 
Psalm 54, Deus in nomine. Save me, O God, by your name, and your might defend my, defend my cause. Hear my prayer, O God, give ear to the ears and the words of my mouth. For the arrogant have raised, risen up against me, and the ruthless have sought my life, those who have no regard for God. Behold, God is my helper. It is the Lord who sustains my life. Render evil to those who spy on me. In your faithfulness, destroy them. I will offer you a free will sacrifice and praise your name, O Lord, for it is good. For you have rescued me from every trouble, and my eyes have seen the ruin of my foes. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Genesis, the 17th chapter, verses 15 through 27 as we can continue with the story of Abraham and Sarah. Now God said to Abraham, As for Sarai your wife, you shall not call her Sarah, but Sarai, but Sarah shall be her name. I will bless her, and moreover, I will give you a son by her. I will bless her, and she shall give rise to nation. Kings of peoples shall come from her. Then Abraham fell on his face and laughed and said to himself, Can a child be born to a man who is a hundred years old? Can Sarah, who is ninety years old, bear a child? And Abraham said to God, Oh, that Ishmael might live in your sight. God said, No, but your wife Sarah shall bear you a son, and you shall name him Isaac. I will establish my covenant with him as an everlasting covenant for his offspring after him. As for Ishmael, I have heard you. I will bless him and make him fruitful and exceedingly numerous. He shall be the father of twelve princes, and I will make him a great nation. But my covenant I will establish with Isaac, who Sarah shall bear to you at this season next year. And we had finished talking with him. God went up, to Ab went up from Abraham. Then Abraham took his son Ishmael, and all the servants born in his house are bought with his money, every male among the men of Abraham's house, and he circumcised the flesh of their foreskins that very day as God had told to him. Abraham was 99 years old when he was circumcised in the flesh of his foreskin, and his son Ishmael was 13 years old when he was circumcised in the flesh of his foreskin. That very day, Abraham and his son Ishmael were circumcised in all the men of his house, servants born in the house, and those bought with money from a foreigner, were circumcised right there with him. Here ends the reading. Our first canticle this morning is the second song of Isaiah, Quarite Dominum, together. Seek the Lord while he wills to be found. Call upon him when he draws near. Let the wicked forsake their ways and the evil ones their thoughts. And let them turn to the Lord and he will have compassion. And to our God, for he will richly pardon for my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as rain and snow fall from the heavens and return not again, but water the earth, bringing forth life and giving growth, seed for sowing, bread for eating, so is my word that goes forth from my mouth. It will not return to me empty." But it will accomplish that which I have purposed and prosper in that for which I sent it. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the 10th chapter of Hebrews, verses 11 through 25. And every priest stands day by day at his service, offering again and again the same sacrifices that can never take away sins. But when Christ had offered for all time a single sacrifice for sins, he sat down at the right hand of God, and since then has been waiting until his enemies would be made a footstool for his feet. For by a single offering he has perfected for all time those who are sanctified, and the Holy Spirit also testifies to us after saying, This is the covenant that I will make with them after those days, says the Lord. I will put my laws in their hearts, and I will write them on their minds. He also adds, I will remember their sins and their lawless deeds no more. 
Where there is forgiveness of these, there is no longer any offering for sin. Therefore, my friends, since we have confidence to enter the sanctuary by the blood of Jesus, by the new and living way that he opened for us through the curtain, that is, through his flesh, and since we have a great priest over the house of God, let us approach with a true heart in full assurance of faith, with our hearts sprinkled clean from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold fast to the confession of our hope without wavering, for he who has promised is faithful. And let us consider how to provoke one another to love and good deeds, not neglecting to meet together, as is the habit of some, but encouraging one another and all the more as you see the day approaching. Here ends the reading. Dignus Ace, a song to the Lamb, together. Splendor and honor and kingly power are yours by right, O Lord our God. For you created everything that is, and by your will they were created and have their being. And yours by right, O Lamb that was slain, for with your blood you have redeemed for God from every family, language, people, and nation a kingdom of priests to serve our God. And so to him who sits upon the throne and to Christ the Lamb, be worship and praise, dominion and splendor forever and forevermore. Brothers and sisters, we will now profess our faith in the form of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, pray with me now the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Suffrages be. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your mercy and love, for we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope, and we shall never hope in vain. Almighty God, who has enriched your church with the singular learning and holiness of your servant Thomas Aquinas, enlighten us more and more, we pray, by the disciplined thinking and teaching of Christian scholars and deepen our devotion by the example of saintly lives through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. I give you as a light to the nations, so my salvation may reach the ends of the earth. All power is given to me in heaven and in earth. Give us grace, O Lord, to answer readily the call of our Savior Jesus Christ, and proclaim to all people the good news of his salvation, that we and the whole world may perceive the glory of his marvelous works, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Now a collect for Fridays. Almighty God, whose most dear Son went up not to joy, but first he suffered pain and entered not into glory before he was crucified. Mercifully grant that the whole world may perceive the glory of his marvelous works, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Now a prayer for mission. Lord Jesus Christ, you stretched out your arms of love on the hard wood of the cross that everyone might come within the reach of your saving embrace. 
So clothe us in your spirit that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you. For the honor of your name, amen. Let us now pause here and bring our own needs and intentions before the Lord and ask for his indulgence, his forgiveness, and his mercy. Dear Lord, mercifully grant that we, walking in the way of the cross, may find it none other than the way of life and peace through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Hear our prayer. Now the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise not only with our lips but in our lives by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days through Jesus Christ our Lord to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. And now a prayer of St. Chrysostom. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Thank you so much for continuing to join us as we pray the daily office every morning at 10 morning prayer here at Calvary Episcopal Church in Wadesboro, North Carolina. We appreciate your support. We appreciate you tuning in and sharing the word of the Lord with us. God bless you. Go forth, enjoy this beautiful day. And remember to leave the world a better place this morning than you found it this mo uh, this Leave the world a better place this evening than you found it this morning. Excuse me. And join us for morning prayer tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. as you kick off your Saturday morning. Also, remember that our regular Mass is here at 11 a.m. each and every Sunday. And you may join us on our Facebook page, on Facebook Live, or on our YouTube channel. If you do decide to join us physically in our beautiful sanctuary here, we do require masking, we require social distancing, and we've got a, a nice size sanctuary here, so that's not a problem, and we have hand sanitizer. But be safe, be conscious of your awareness, uh, be conscious of your surroundings, and be kind. See you later. <laughs>